the fight is now underway on one side we have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Throws the right hand there. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Oh, that right hand is on point. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big Paul Swartz lands. Now he gets back to range. And he lands another knee there. DC doesn't always play to with a taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one? That's gonna break it. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you have gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop you. You gotta defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lands with the right hand. Pretty good right hand. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Nice punch there. He's throwing every part of himself. It's in his big leg kick. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Guard lands the right hand. A little single collar tie there. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that kid. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. Oh, man. Look at him. He finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, Try, try again, and this guy is the poster boy for that save because he shot many takedown attempts and he finally has secured one. All right, side control now. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Big punch the middle. Back and forth we go! Alright, he 
closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Five minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Lost that round. The wrestling didn't look that sharp. We need to slow it down a little bit. You're forcing things. Shake it out. Use your jab. Lay on your... All right, round two. Oh, big punch lands. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, nice strike landed there by Choi. Straight right is there. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice, nice. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big leg kick land. Nice punch land. Went for the inside leg kick. What a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Choi. Well, you know I don't like the G very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> so a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Ooh, what a punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. What a punch. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, nice uppercut there. Just missed on the front kick there. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. He 
loaded up on that right hand, too. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Choi's overhand telegraph, though, it gets blocked. Great punch landed with so much power. Just misses with the straight right. Beautiful. All right, that's the end of round number two. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You're looking great. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to go out there, and I want you to take him down and put him on his back. The fight on the All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, he blocks the strike. Oh, and counters with a jab. So a nice sequence for him there. He's got the reach advantage. And at least in that exchange, size certainly appeared to matter. High kick, high kick. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Choi. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice head kick. Straight right hand now just misses. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Put him up. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Takes him down. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice hammer fist. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Close guard. And they both stand up. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're... Over, over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Great punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Head kick blocked by Choi. Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Knee to the body. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, nice high kick. Missed with that attempt. Just missed with the left there. 
Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Big kick. It's a good right hand right there. And he gets hit with an outside leg kick. Nice strike. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. It's a beautiful, fast foot jab with meaning. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You gotta think at some point the opposition is gonna lower that bar or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. He hurt him! Nice straight punch. Unable to connect with the right. How about that shin? Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice loop punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Choi. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing clutch after clutch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Right punches there. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Here's the takedown. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions, and now he's jumping on a triangle. Look at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Let's get him down. 
big punch land. Ooh. Straight right, he misses. Ninety seconds to go. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Try to establish that jab. Boom! Big jab. And there comes the separation now. Good punch. It's broken, I think. Final minute. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. And just misses with that big right hand. There's the jab, then another. Thirty seconds to go. Just misses there with the left. Out of range with that one. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. He's so fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Beautiful knockdown. Wow, that could have been a 10-8 round for you. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Good stick. Big knee to the body. Well, no surprise, the fighter with the longer reach is able to land that patented jab yet again. Effective jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Superman punch. How about those? Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Down into his mouth. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Good punch land. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. 